Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Lock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICAG Mathematics Class 8, Chapter 9, Simple Interest and Compound Interest, Exercise 9b, Question Number 1. This is, find the amount and compound interest on rupees 4000 at 12% per annum for 2 years compounded annually. Now, here a new concept has come that is of compound interest. So far, we have studied simple interest in which we have calculated interest on the same principle for all the years. If I have rupees 100, then the interest for 100 for the first year, the principal will be 100 and the interest for two years, then also the principal will be 100. But here, some things change in compound interest. It is just the same as simple interest, but the principal keeps on changing every year if it is compounded annually. See. We have, uh, I'll give you an example. So let's say if I have four, uh, let's just start with the question. So here you can see the principal is rupees 4000 and the rate is 12% per annum and the time is what? Two years. Now, what does this mean? So here, what we will do is without using a proper formula. There is a proper formula for finding the compound interest as well, but since that is not introduced in this exercise, so we will continue with the normal way, the one which is the longer way, right? We will not use any formula. See how we will do is, we will calculate the interest per year because it is saying here compounded annually. So that means every year the interest is added. So see the interest for first year is equal to what here we will use the same formula p into r into t by 100 so this is going to give you p is 4000 into r is 12 percent into time is one uh, sorry here we you need to keep this in mind the time will be one year all every single time because we will calculate the interest not for two years but for one year every time see first year then we'll calculate for second year then third year and so on so every time one year is increasing so here we'll put into one the time will always be one and upon 100 so cancel it cancel it so you have rupees for 480 right this is the interest for the first year that is rupees 480 but what thing separates it from simple interest is c now we will calculate the new principle okay so that will just be equal to your what amount we know the formula of amount that is principal plus simple interest so do that you have 4000 plus 480 right that is 4480 rupees okay so this is the uh, the principle the next principle that we will use so you can see what thing we are doing is every time we are calculating interest for one year then that interest is being added to your principle so this is what is done in compound interest and what actually is compound interest is the final amount minus the uh, the original principle the principle that we had first that is 4000 so this is not complete yet now we will calculate the interest for second year okay so the interest for the second year is again the principle is rupees 4480 the time will remain one years only sorry here also uh, you'll do one year only right so one year and then the rate rate will be 12 percent per annum as it is here same formula will be used that is prince so this will be what 4480 now we'll calculate the uh, interest right that is p into r into do it so we have 4480 into 1 into 12 by 100 cancel this zero cancel this zero you have 448 into 12 by 10 this is your what let's see 12 8 and 96 and 9 carried over 4 are 48 and 9 so that is your 7 and 5 12 4 are 48 and 5 5 37 6 
okay so 5376 by 10 that is what that is put a point here 537.6 okay not here now here so rupees 537.6 is the interest and our amount will be what so we have principal plus the interest right so principal plus interest is 4480 minus plus the interest 537.6 so you will have 7 here okay 8 3 11 here one here so 10 here and one there 5017.6 and this is the amount rupees 5017.6 and the interest sorry the compound interest right compound interest is what we have compound interest becomes the amount minus the principal here the principal that we will take will be what we have taken in the beginning of the question that is 4000 now don't make this mistake that you take 4480 so 5000 17.6 minus 4000 right so this will be 1017.6 rupees that is our answer and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like in this one till then take good care of yourselves and